Welcome to Homesteading with the Brewers. I'd like to welcome you back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how we make our homemade washing soda. Um, you can find this at the store, at Walmart. Um, not every state though um, will you be able to find it and it's very expensive. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn baking soda into washing soda. Baking soda is very inexpensive. I think I got that big box um, from my Walmart. It's four pounds. I think I spent three dollars on it. I buy two of these boxes, one for my baking soda for my recipes and another one to make the washing soda. Now, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers show you how to do this process and um, I'm going to go over a couple things with you guys. First, I want you to see what it starts out looking like. Very fine and powdery kind of sticks to you and it turns in to this. It's very sandy and granular. It doesn't stick as much. Um, you can definitely see a difference. I know that the lighting is not good in here guys um, but you should be able to see at least the texture of it is very very different and the color is different as well. So what happens when you do this when you add heat to baking soda Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. When you add heat, you turn it into sodium carbonate. What it does when you add the heat is it expels the hydrogen and the carbon dioxide. Some people like to do it on the stove on high heat. I don't recommend doing that um, because it's emitting carbon dioxide. So I do it in my oven. Um, the next, what we're going to do to make this first is we're going to take our baking soda, we're going to pour it on our cookie sheet as much as you're wanting to make. Um, the thicker it is, the longer it needs to, to be in the oven. Um, you're going to take like your spatula or whatever you use, spread it all out as evenly as possible all over your cookie sheet. I'm sure you can hear that pitter-patter. It is raining here. I apologize about that. I can't do anything about it. Um, we're going to just put this out as evenly as possible on the cookie sheet. We want to have our oven set at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I believe that's 200 degrees Celsius. Don't quote me on that. Um, but we're going to set it to 400. Once that goes off, we're going to pop that in the oven for one hour. I'm going to pause this and I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like when it comes out. I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. This just came out of the oven. It's been in there for an hour. Um, that is now our washing soda. I can't get good lighting on this. Um, I know you got to see a little bit better of the color difference and the texture difference the last time I showed you just a minute ago. So now what you're going to do, um, it's very important, let this cool down. You're going to want to put this in an airtight container. You just spent all of that time getting out all the hydrogen and the carbon dioxide. We don't want to get it more, you know, water or anything like that in there. It's very humid where I live. So it's important. Um, I use this container with this lid. We write what it is that's in here because it still looks a lot like the baking soda. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and wrap this up here. I use this in a lot of my recipes. Again, I was getting ready to make the video for our homemade laundry detergent and I did not have enough washing soda to make the video so I had to stop and and make this but I'm glad that I got to show it to you guys because it does save um, I know it doesn't maybe save a lot but two dollars here and there really really adds up by the end of the year um, so if you like this video please like subscribe and share uh, thank you for coming and enjoying this homesteading adventure with us can't wait to see you till next time thank you